Welcome back to the Fenrir Ridgeback channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Ridgeback and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Ridgeback. So if you're a lifelong lover thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Ridgeback, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Ridgeback video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll compare two of the most amazing hunting breeds in the world and what you should consider when choosing the right canine companion for your home. Two hunting breeds that look quite alike, yet are so different, both in purpose and temperaments. That's the Rhodesian Ridgeback and the Vizsla for you. Both breeds are used for both hunting and company these days, but historically they're hardcore hunting dogs. The Rhodesian Ridgeback was bred in South Africa to hunt large, dangerous game like lions and wild boar, while the Vizsla has been used to hunt in game and other mammals. Their backgrounds make them who they are today. So, I'll get back to how their temperament has been affected by their previous use. Before then, I'll just very shortly want to address their appearance. At a first glance, especially into the untrained eye, these breeds do look quite alike. There are, however, some distinct differences, such as the Rhodesian Ridgeback being the larger one of these two beautiful breeds. He stands at 24 to 27 inches tall, whereas the Vizsla measures up to 21 to 24 inches tall to the shoulder. Body-wise, they're very similar. They're both lean and muscular, similar droopy ears, but the Vizsla has a naturally docked tail while the Ridgeback has a naturally long tail. Their biggest difference, however, is the ridge on the Ridgeback's back. It's a piece of fur growing the other way around, upwards towards his neck, which creates that ridge that makes the Ridgeback so unique. It also just so happens that both breeds have that gorgeous rusty colour that is exceptionally beautiful. So, let's return to temperament then. Both these beautiful breeds have been used for hunting, but are not very much alike in temperament and mentality. How does that happen? The Rhodesian Ridgeback has, throughout his time, hunting lions and other predators in South Africa, also been used as guard dog and protector of farms and his people. This has given him a certain level of independence that the Vizsla is lacking. The Ridgeback loves his family and is fiercely loyal, but he likes to think for himself and make decisions based on what are his experiences rather than trusting his people with this. This requires a person who knows how to handle this kind of independence and sometimes rather serious temperament present in these dogs. With a Rhodesian Ridgeback, you'll have a loving and loyal companion, but he'll never be clingy. With his experience and natural instincts for gardening protection, the Ridgeback will love his family but tend to be aloof towards strangers, which is why it's so important to socialise him at an early age in his life. The Vizsla, on the other hand, is known as a Velcro dog. He'll never leave his side. He's known to need lots of love and attention to be happy. If you want your dog close at all times, the Vizsla is a much better choice for you. If you want to be able to socialise with friends and family in your home, the Vizsla, again, is the better option. Although he may well do his best to remind you who your best friend is, if you forget. Since both these breeds are hunting dogs, you can count on their prey drive. Because of this, it's best to keep them on a leash, or they may find the rabbit over there fair game and forget everything about staying or recall. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, that I have a completely free course called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. In that course, I break down all of the most important things that I think you absolutely have to know and understand for you to become a high-level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions. So if you want to go and check out my completely free principles to the perfect puppy course, there'll be a link down in the description box below. Thousands of people have taken that and had incredible success. So I can't wait to see you over there again. There'll be a link in the description box below. I'll see you on that course. Equally important is to keep your yard behind a high fence to make sure they can't escape or hunt down that cat that just passed outside their territory. For these reasons, it's extremely important that you start training them to walk properly in the lead from a young age, to prevent future accidents when they decide to run after a cat hiding under your neighbour's car. 
Since they're both strong, you should probably also start thinking about working out to be able to hold them back if they get any ideas that disagree with you. Now, being the sporty dogs as they are, one might think they both would need excessive amounts of exercise, but this rings true only for the Vizsla. Of course, the Ridgeback needs his exercise as well, but surprisingly enough, the Lion Hunter requires much less than you might think. But it's not a couch potato. He'll need at least 30 to 60 minutes of exercise every day. But compared to the Vizsla, who loves to run by your side as you jog or bike, the Ridgeback is quite laid back. Both breeds need their mental stimulation and challenges. However, they are both intelligent dogs, and when bored, they both tend to get destructive around the house. Among the two, the Vizsla is quicker to reach boredom. The Ridgeback is much more likely to take a sunbathe, keeping an eye open for those lions that may lurk around somewhere close by. Now, I already stated that both of these glorious beads are intelligent, and they are. With intelligence comes easy access to training, or so one might think. The Vizsla is keen to please his handler, thus he is much easier to train. Give him verbal praise and a treat every now and then and he'll do anything for you. The Ridgeback, on the other hand, with his independence, can be somewhat trickier. He's not only independent and strong-willed, he's also stubborn. So, if you're new to the dog world and are aware that this whole thing with training a dog isn't your strong suit yet, the Vizsla may be a better choice for you. Now, before we round this up, let's take a quick look at these amazing breeds' health. They're both considered healthy dogs, but like any large breed, they're prone to suffer from both hip and elbow dysplasia. Therefore, make sure you choose a breeder who checks parenting animals for these conditions to improve your puppy's chance to healthy joints. The Vizsla can also have various eye problems as well as autoimmune thyroiditis, a skin problem called dermoid sinus. That being said, the Vizsla is a breed to choose if you want many years with your canine companion. His life expectancy is somewhere between 12 to 14 years, while the larger Ridgeback can be expected to live around 10 years or so. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget if you're new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Ridgeback videos coming here every single week. So, I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Rhodesian Ridgeback channel.